It's Friday, July 21st, and in the past, if you wanted to get into AI research and neural network computing, it only took a truckload of cash, enough computer horsepower to run NASA, and a few of those three-letter degrees, you know, to get started. But today, it takes a regular PC, 80 bucks, and this little USB stick computer, because you know, that's just how technology rolls. The little guy is actually an upgrade to a similar device that cost more and did less, of course. Intel scooped up Movidius last year, so this little AI tool is pretty much what you would expect after just such a handshake. Performance parameters include four gigs of RAM, 100 gigaflops of processing power, and it allows host devices, bigger PCs, to process deep neural networks natively, according to Movidius. Also, it looks pretty cool. Get your AI on at the link and don't forget the $80. You know, self-driving cars seem to be so close to happening, we're already trying to figure out what shows to watch while the robot does the driving. And now, Uber competitor Lyft is getting into the game with their own self-driving tech program. And not surprisingly, their efforts will be run out of a Palo Alto facility. The New York Times says Lyft will employ several hundred engineers to get the program up to speed, as it were. Lyft's CTO said the company will collaborate with other self-driving tech efforts, the most notable being Google Alphabet's leading edge Waymo division, which had been connected to Uber before they had a serious legal falling out. GM and Jaguar slash Land Rover will also be in the mix. The Times says Lyft isn't going to be making any of their own cars, although they had also previously stated they weren't interested in a self-driving car program either. Hey, we get it, things change. Lyft says they have 700,000 drivers on the rolls, and if their efforts pay off, that number may shrink as our cars finally learn to drive us around rather than the other way around. Happy Friday, and we know it's movie night for a lot of you, and we also know a lot of people will be in line for the latest visual spectacle from French sci-fi auteur Luc Besson. Yep, Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets opens tonight, and if there wasn't a line of dialogue in the whole movie, we'd probably still be in line to soak in the visuals. But of course there is dialogue, and colorful aliens, and spaceships, and alien planets, and apparently lots of explosions. Valerian is based on a French comic series that dates back to the 1960s. Vassan has said that he has wanted to make this movie for decades, but the tech wasn't up to speed until Avatar came along. The story centers around a pair of super spies that can traverse both time and space in their Millennium Falcon-esque spaceship. And indeed, you can't miss some Star Wars similarities, which isn't surprising since George Lucas is also a fan of the comics. Valerian opens tonight, and if there was ever a movie where you should spring to see it in IMAX 3D, this is probably a solid choice. Enjoy the show. Get more tech news updates at digitaltrends.com on our Facebook page and YouTube channel, and be sure to check out all of our podcasts on iTunes or wherever you get yours. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you next week.